Bwana sifiwe tena and good morning. It is Wednesday and we praise God because of his grace. We continue this week um uh with a theme of or the theme rather the call to press on towards the goal. Na kaza mwendo na kaza mwendo haujafika lakini neema ya Mungu inatosha. On Monday we said the pursuit of perfection and we encourage ourselves that we continue not yet there. We continue to pursue perfection and then Yesterday or on Tuesday we said forgetting what lies behind anything that is holding you back we say lord help me to shed them off and we looked at very uh, at, at four main points and today Wednesday we are saying straining towards what lies ahead straining towards what lies ahead this is the necessity of actively pursuing spiritual goals actively not not inactive it's actively pursuing spiritual goals it's like now you are um uh, um you, you have a phone and you have found an internet connection somewhere and now you want to download and update things so you it is it's an active process it's downloading you you'll see say downloading 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 so today we are saying you actively pursue spiritual goal hence training towards what lies ahead and there are good things which are ahead of us and that's what we want to explore these four points to help me draw this one uh this this topic home number one we want we need to have the athletic mind mindset athletic mindset you know what can be as and we just we are just from the olympics and you guys saw the way some lost some won um um like new names came in like wanyonyi you know hey nyonyi did some good things there um um equally the renowned got kipchoge also you saw the way it didn't work out but we need to have an athletic mindset as we strain towards what lies ahead you know he says in chapter 3 verse 4 philippians we will be looking so much in that i press on towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of god in christ jesus so this is a metaphor you know it's metaphor illustrating the determination and effort required in christ like akin to an athlete for victory for victory so each one of them prepared i can see when nyonye prepared i see kipchoge prepared and all of them went to paris but it happened what happened but the mindset of an athlete is that even if i w- i lose i will still win i will still prepare again to win even if i win i will not be contented i'll keep on trying hence you need to have an athlete mindset the second thing is discipline and focus discipline if you want to strain towards it others are saying if you want to strain towards what lies ahead is we need to have one athletic mindset and then number two discipline and focus you know what does hebrews 1 say again let us run with perseverance the race that marked for us we run with perseverance discipline and focus what does that mean running with endurance requires discipline and focus essential traits for overcoming challenges in the spiritual journey discipline If you have said this are my dis- spiritual disciplines I need to stay on course with them. If it's praying commit to that prayer life. If it is fellowship commit it's discipline. Discipline and this will help you to continue straining towards what lies. So discipline for you to get what you want you need discipline. Um the second the third thing is setting spiritual goals. Setting spiritual goals. Straining towards what lies ahead. That is called, Paul you know verse 13 is so rich. Verse 13 is so rich of Philippians chapter 3. Straining towards what lies ahead. So there's something good that is coming. There's something. Paul, you know, in his life he was, he had achieved most things. But he still said, I, I don't want to focus. I want to see what is ahead of me. Sijafika bado. How jafika bado. That's what he's saying. Setting specific spiritual goals can help believers stay motivated and directed in their faith journey. have them and for me i like it when uh, i hear some of the people that i pastor saying this time i have made it intentional to read the bible i say amen some come visit in the office we pray together for issues and then like one one thing that i have grown in this season is discernment so i tell them you know what for you to achieve father what you desire is to come closer to God in prayer. And so on Wednesday we have our online prayers. 
I tell them, please plug in. And then on Wednesday, 5.30 in the evening, I tell them we have the evening prayers. Please come. And then most of them set that spiritual goal. And we share testimony of what the Lord is doing. So you need to have a spiritual goal. Don't just aim aimlessly. You need to have a spiritual goal. And then lastly is empowered by the Spirit. As you strain toward the goal, it's not your own effort. Philippians 3.16 says, Walk by the same rule. Let us be of the same mind. Of the same mind. Not just the same mind. This The mind that um, that is talking about is the mind of Christ. He says, only let us live up to what we have already attained. He says that we need to live up to it. Walk by the same rule. Let us be of the same mind. You are united. United in the spirit. You know, uh, whenever we do com uh, community, united by, uh, together we are one, united by the spirit. We are one body, one body of Christ. So the Holy Spirit will empower you, believers, to achieve the spiritual goal, fostering unity and shared purpose within the community of faith. So uh, my prayer is that you continue to seek the Holy Spirit presence. How do you do that? Once again, is prayer, discipline of prayer, discipline of fasting, and even Father coming to church. As I finish, I want to pray that you'll set a specific spiritual goal for the upcoming month and even the remaining part of this year and develop a plan to achieve it. Then you will be straining towards that goal so that you'll not be aiming it just aimlessly, straining towards what's lie ahead. Is there anything that you're saying, God, I have already made this plan I need to achieve. I pray that you'll have an athletic mindset. Is there something that you're saying, God, I am already in it. I pray that you'll have a discipline and focus once again as an athletic. Do you desire God to do things in your life? You need to do things differently. Set spiritual goal. And then finally, where will you get your fuel? You will be empowered by the Holy Spirit. May the Lord help you in your journey of faith. And today, if you have been lacking behind, my prayer is that now you be motivated to pick up and to start going toward the goals, training towards what's like. They are good things. Don't allow, as we were saying yesterday, destruction to get you off the path. Lord, we thank you so much for today. Wednesday that you have blessed us. As we come to you in this word, I pray that you will challenge us to set goals and to continue to focus on them. Lord, for those who are feeling guilty of not fulfilling or meeting their goals, spiritual goals, Father, we pray that your grace will be available to give them charge to continue running towards what's lying ahead. This day, may your will be done. Bless us and encourage us. Bless you, God. So my brothers and sisters, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine towards you and give you peace. And the blessings of God Almighty, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen. So being Wednesday, for those who are watching on Wednesday, we have a prayer service. You can set that as a goal for you. So come, if you are around Nairobi, 5.30 for the Wednesday healing and prayer service. May the Lord bless you as you keep on straining towards words lying ahead. And remember, it's something beautiful. Don't allow yourself to look focused. See you tomorrow. God bless you.